What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback Movement, the man that is going to change your life. Today's topic is inconsistency kills. Sit back, enjoy the show. Let's roll. Inconsistency super kills, man. So I'm going to get into a couple pieces here. One, I'm tired, always back into drinking because that's what I do, or should say bettering your life from drinking, depression, anxiety, fear, guilt, shame, drugs, lies, whatever it may be. But for me, what I come to realize at this stage in the journey is inconsistency can sit, kill shit like almost immediately. So for us, we've had some crazy stuff going on in the past three weeks, right? All crazy good, you know, um, get married, buy a new car, buy a new house, school starting, um, taking a couple min- minutes, days to actually enjoy my wife, right? Like what life is about. But when we went on these days, like we kind of took a break, her and I both from just like the workout program, the eating program, we got inconsistent on the same rituals, routines that I built every day for my life to help me with my, my comeback. So I go back in the gym yesterday, we switched to a new town, I had to get a new gym and I go into the gym yesterday and I went in and it, I felt like such a fucking pussy. You know, 12 days is actually what it was since I lifted weights. And the inconsistency that I could tell, like I put on 225 pounds on the bench press, not a heavy amount of weight, do it all day long. And it felt like a fucking world falling out my chest. Okay. And then I look at my habits after that. I'm like, oh man, that kind of fucked me up. I started thinking about it. Inconsistency there. I look at my diet. I actually went down on the scale in numbers, right? Which means I probably lost some muscle or, or whatever, but that, that's not what I'm talking about. I don't really care about that. What I'm talking about is this, the minute you get off of your routine, it's not that you need to do more. It's you to do what works. See, in my drinking, in my struggle, like even where I'm at right now, when we change locations, geographical locations from one town only over about fucking 15 miles, there's a new routine, new coffee, new way to work, new gym, new school schedule, new sleep patterns. All these things are new, which makes me inconsistent on what I built before. Now, this is a two-sided coin. Number one, Change is good, right? I welcome it because it gives me a chance to overcome and adapt where I'm at. Number two, for guys in the journey where they're at right this second, consistency is what you need. Unless you're planning planning on making some sort of life radical changing decisions, getting married, buying a new house, moving, stuff like that, like I did, I want to encourage you to set up the most consistent, disciplined plan that you can. And now here's the thing. It doesn't have to be fucking crazy. What happens to a lot of dudes is they're like, okay, I really want to quit this drinking. I really want to quit you know, I, I want to focus on my business. I want financial discipline. I'm going to quit drinking. I'm going to be a better dad. We all these things. So I'm going to stack my day full of about 10 million fucking things. And then you do nothing. Then you do nothing. And then you feel shitty. You feel like you can't do it. You feel caught in this rut. And the next thing you know, you find yourself on a bar stool fighting a Mexican dude for cocaine. Or at least I did. Okay. And that's, that's not happened this time, but that happened in my past. Because what it is, is this. The routine that I want you to build needs to be something that can be added to every single day. See, on the other side of everything that you guys want, like like everything you want, more money, more love, more positivity, more happiness, more freedom, more clarity, more focus, more memories. Everything is on the other side of this pain. Everything is on the other side of this struggle. This struggle can start subsiding every single day by building a new routine. The reason I brought up the inconsistency is now I'm two days into it. I feel pretty good. I actually like the new gym. Things are getting better. It's a radical shift. Like literally just a mindset shift. I should tell myself, I like this better. I believe in myself more here. This is going to be more encouraging. This is going to help my company. It's going to help my wife. I'm going to be able to love her better. I'm going to be able to love my kids better. Everything's going to get better. But it started with the mindset shift and the ability to see that, hey, this inconsistency can kill what I was working on. Now it's time for me to step up to the plate and build a new routine. So, The question I have for you guys today, whether you're thinking about putting down the bottle today, whether you're thinking about putting down the drugs, whether you're thinking about beating whatever addiction is, video games, cheating, strippers, whatever your fucking flavor is, where in your life today do you need to make one small habit? What is one small routine shift that you can make? Is it driving home from work a different way? Is it blocking people out of your phone that you can't call that you know are the people you're calling? Is it walking into the door to make sure you grab your wife's ass and squeeze it and tell her you love her? And we stack on stack on stack on what we call the comeback seven. Now, if you don't know how to use the comeback seven, here's where I offer you an opportunity. What I'd like you to do is type in imacomeback.com forward slash apply or 
I'm a comeback.com forward slash watch. And we put together a quick seven minute video and an application where you can see exactly what I do, how I do it, how I did it, how hundreds of men just like you on the other side of this podcast have done it and how you can do it today as well. But it starts with a choice and a decision to step up to the plate and become the man that you fucking truly want to be. This is not for pussies. This is not for fucking people who think they have a disease. This is not for people who want nothing more than to beat alcohol in their life. If you want more, if you can taste it, if you know there's another way, I urge you to click that link today. Check us out and see you on the other side. That's it for today's episode of the Comeback Podcast. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'm back, consistent with these. I even took a break from these things for the past few days because I was trying something new in my marketing that I fucking hated. So now we're going to get back consistent with this. So expect these things daily, and I'll see you on the next episode.